Located at the center of the city, the Hilton Paris Opera is in the heart of the historic opera quarter. Guests at the hotel will find cultural sites and attractions located nearby. The Opera Garnier, the Louvre Museum, Rue de Rivoli, and the famous department stores Galerie Lafayette and Le Printemps are all within a short walk of the front door of this historic building that has been transformed into a jewel of the Hilton brand. After undergoing a detailed renovation of the public spaces, coupled with a complete modern renovation of the guests' rooms, Hilton operates this iconic building in adherence to its original mission statement of providing luxury accommodations to the guests of Paris. Today, the Hilton Paris Opera Hotel provides guests with 268 modernized rooms with luxury amenities, as well as 29 suites, a gym, executive lounge, bars, and restaurants. Guests at the Hilton Paris Opera Hotel are only a 10-minute train ride from the Paris Business District. As a guest at the Hilton Paris Opera Hotel, you will enjoy luxuriously appointed rooms with historic accents, pictures, and artwork that adds a reminder of the past to your luxury modern stay. Uh, the hotel was created on 1889 uh, for the World Fair. So at this World Fair, there was also the creation of the Eiffel Tower. So we have the same anniversary as the Eiffel Tower as well. We like uh, twins. And um, the hotel was um, a luxury hotel with uh, innovation, just like uh, lifts, uh, electricity in room, and uh, also uh, direct uh, phone connected rooms as well. Um, here you see this is the the old Grand Salon. <laughs> so it used to be a reading lounge at the time. And uh, you see those stairs here. Uh, they, um, they are from the passerelle that you see that, because we are connecting with the, connected with the Saint-Lazare uh, train station. And so the, um, the guests of the hotel would come by train from uh, Normandy to Saint-Lazare. And then to Saint Lazare, they will just go by the passerelle, and they will directly arrive uh, at the hotel. They won't have to go in the streets. So in 1910, we had the uh, overflow of the Seine, and so we have a picture of the hotel that was uh, in the water. Uh, in the water. Um, here you have some example of the restaurant of the hotel that used to be, uh, to be called the Cave Comestible. Um, then in 1935 there were big renovation at the hotel and so big innovation as well because some rooms uh, get to have a bathroom and it was pretty rare at the time. <laughs> uh, do you know um, so uh, the Grand Hotel Terminus were open during the World War II. Mm -hmm. It was one of the of the. Enfin, there was not so many hotels that, st that stayed open during the World War. Um, so here we had some uh, testimony of it. It's uh, the golden book of the restaurant. And uh, here we have a little testimony of people that say that it was good to have a place like this during those uh, hot times. Um, on uh, 1944, uh, the hotel um, uh, came, uh, became a hospital for the American Red Cross. So it uh, hosted refugees. Uh, then after, on 1946, it reopened as a, a hotel again. Um, on 1960, the old uh, reading lounge uh, became a TV room, <laughs> so more modern. Then uh, on 1973, uh, it became, uh, it was by, by uh, the Concorde group, and so it became the Hotel Concorde Saint-Lazare. 2014, uh, Hilton uh, bought the hotel and invested 50 million of, euro, of euros 
to renovate the hotel. So all the room was renovated and then we created the Grand Salon because before that it was the reception and so they wanted to create it a bar, a spot for the Parisian and so they created the Grand Salon and uh, then on 2019 we celebrated our 130 years of history. Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Herman. I'm the commercial director of this beautiful property, the Hilton Paris Opera, located in central Paris. And uh, we are right now in this magnificent uh, Le Grand Salon, which is really your main living room hub, uh, lounge, bar, lounge, uh, restaurant, um, in order to unwind, relax, uh, and um, yes, discover the beauties of this property. This part is actually uh, part of uh, the historic monuments of Paris, uh, listed uh, on the on the national um, chapters. Uh, it is 130 years old. We are very happy. We celebrate the 130th anniversary of this uh, lady. <laughs> As I said, we are really located in the center of, uh, of Paris. Uh, we, we are next to the Salazar uh, train station, which is uh, really the entrance to Paris if you come from the Normandy side or if you would like to go out to the Normandy side or discover our other parts of this beautiful country. Um, you also have uh, lots of metro lines and then obviously walking in Paris is very, very special. So you can do all of this uh, from this starting point, central point in Paris. The property itself, as I said, we just celebrated our 130th anniversary. It's a part of the French and Parisian history, the first hotel that has been purpose-built as being a hotel, the first hotel with electricity um, and with running water. So uh, that's something very, very exciting. And uh, if you come and travel, to this property you will be part of the history but don't worry we just completely renovated everything in this property so it's up to today's standards we also have eight meeting rooms so you can also enjoy um, your meetings if you need to to, uh, to to do some or special events as well we do host 268 uh, bedrooms uh, for individual travelers, family travelers, couple travelers and just indicate what you need, what you desire and we can purpose, uh, purpose build your stay with us if you, uh, if you need to. So uh, all in all um, I am head of the, an amazing sales team and reservation so whatever you need you just shout it out to us and we will try to find a solution uh, to make your stay really work out as you would like it to be. Once again you are part of the history in Paris, you are centrally uh, located and uh, it's an amazing property first of all to work for and to stay in. <laughs> The 1889, I use uh, apple juice. Just two centimeters. Put a uh, Dominican rum. So two centimeters and the special decor what is that mystery. It's a really, really nice decorist. Also two centimeters. You have rooibos, tea. You have um, uh, some chai tea. You have many many berries. And Thank <laughs> you.
parce qu'il est filmé, il en fait plus. Plus que d'habitude. Ensuite. On va double filtrer. Après, on va ajouter un peu de cils. On peut donner un peu de cider aussi. So, dry apple that we made here at home in the bar with a little bit of um, um, piment d'Espelette. It is, a, it is a pimento from the south of, uh, of France. Madame? Yeah. Oui. Oui. C'est de le rendre encore plus joli. Tu as vu C'est fait pour les femmes là. Il fait pas ça pour les hommes. Il sait qu'il a fait ça pour les femmes. Pas pour les hommes. Tu as vu comment il fait là Je prends là, je prends là. C'est le citron. Mais il est bon. Hein Bring to the table Perfidy, this name. Perfidy. That we use. That's the... Sense of, uh, of tomato and uh, okay. like soup, like gazpacho sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, put just a dash of this liquor, perfidy. Also a dash of smoked whiskey. Dash of syrup, I got syrup. Teachers of tomato juice. Three centimeters of red grape. And I use tequila. One measure of tequila. Beetroot, dry beetroot. That's what we made also here. It's a special taste. Huh? Happy to work with me too. <laughs> It's a different color. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thank you.